Welcome to this week's fashion and style episode of Anoki Daily Spotlight TV. Today we're talking vacations and organization. Packing for a summer vacation can be a really difficult task if you don't know where to begin. Today I'm going to show you how to pack for three distinct occasions. We're going to talk about the essentials that you need for beachwear, starting with the trunks. Now, guys, if you've got swim trunks that are below the knee, that's an absolute no. I don't care how big you are, how skinny you are, your trunks should always be above the knee. You will need something to wear on top of your trunks while heading to the beach. Some classic tees, they go on top and you can shed them when you get to the beach. Now, I know a lot of guys love flip-flops. I'm gonna show you a great product that gives you versatility and practicality. Swims. They are water resistant, they dry really, really fast, and the best part of them is that they keep your feet from smelling. So they are odor absorbing. If you want to add a little bit of style flair, a fedora is a great, great addition. It's a great versatile piece that can go with some of the other outfits that we talk about in a bit. So the first key tip about casual wear is let go of the jeans. Denim is the least breathable thing that you want to wear when you're in a hot climate. That's where I recommend getting a couple of pairs of chinos. They're cotton, they breathe easy, and they have extreme versatility, which can take you in from a semi-casual event to something a little bit more formal. Now to pair with all of this, think effortless cool. And what it could be more effortless than a great polo. Get it in maybe one or two colors. If polos is not your thing, short sleeve shirts. A great way to add color, pattern, a little bit of vibrancy to your outfit. These shoes go great with your chinos. So now you've taken one pair of shoes and you found two uses for them, which is a great way to reduce the weight in your, in your suitcase while still looking fabulous. Another great garment that I love to take with me no matter where I'm going is the tunic. It's probably the best thing of our culture because it breathes because it's usually made from light cottons, so it's great for any hot climate that you might be going into. The easiest way to step up any outfit is by introducing a blazer. One is a jersey style blazer. It has all the comforts, the breathability that you get out of a sweatshirt, but obviously it's in the silhouette of a blazer. Another style that is really, really great is a cotton jacket, but one that is deconstructed. What that means is, it, is that it doesn't have a lining. That reduces the weight of the jacket, makes it breathable, and once again, makes it super comfortable for any hot climate. Chinos, once again, are a great versatile piece to have in your travel wardrobe because they take you from casual, like we've seen, to pairing it with a blazer, and you've got something that's a little bit more formal. Throw in a nice patterned shirt for that pop of color. Remember those t-shirts that we saw when we were talking about beachwear? Throw a nice v-neck t-shirt under any of these blazers and you've still got that formal appeal. One of the key themes that I've been mentioning through each of our outfits or occasions has been versatility. So the same shoes that you wore to the beach and then you wore casually now can be worn again for your formal look. We've talked about what you should pack, but I'm gonna give you three great tips on how to pack. One being, all your socks, roll them up, and put them in your shoes. You're also helping to protect your shoe because it maintains its shape while it sits in your suitcase. The second great tip that I'm gonna share with you is the art of rolling. No matter whether it's a shirt, a chino, or a belt, roll everything when you put it into your suitcase. It minimizes the space and reduces wrinkles. And the third tip is how do you carry your blazer on the plane to make sure that it stays fresh is this neat trick. So take your blazer, turn it inside out, take your sleeve and put it into the other and then simply fold it over. That's it for this week's fashion and style episode. We hope these guidelines will keep you in check and packing properly for your next trip. For more information, visit anokimedia.com and our YouTube channel. And don't forget to interact with us on Facebook and Twitter.